why some businesses excel and some don't? I've been asking myself this question a lot and I need some answer from our audience today. Can you help me with some idea about why some business excel and some business don't? Can I have some answer from you? I know there's not many people here today, but people online, welcome to give me some answer. People quit too early. Do you know why some business fail and some businesses don't? Business, okay, experience. What about you? What do you think? Huh? Good management team. That's one leadership. Yeah. Yeah. What do you say? I said people quit too early. Oh, okay, that's great. Right. So according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. 25% of business fail within the first two years of you being open. 45% of them fail within the first five years. 65% of them fail within the first 10 years. And only 15% of them can make it to the 15 years or later. Wow, that's an interesting statistics, right? And just so you know, this year marked our nine years anniversary, our agency. And I'm so thrilled to be able to manage our team through the last 90 years, through lots of changes and hurdles. And I do have some lessons to share with you all. And I've actually have done a lot of research and also looking at the most successful business out there. And I think they have four things in common. The first things I think is do have is they have excellent customer service and they do understand their customer, um, who their target audience very well. All right, so I use these pages to my clients is that um, your wealth is in direct proportion with how well you know your target market. Your target markets are not male or female from 20 to 60 years old. They are not. It's so broad, right? So if you want to learn more about this topic, I recommend you check out my video called Three um, Must Answer Marketing Questions You Need to Answer and on, that's on my YouTube channel. So check that out. And it's hard to... To, to start and maintain a successful business when you don't know uh, who is your target audience, right? And uh, Or you fail to listen to what your existing customer have to say. And you really need to invest your time to understand your target audience and also listening to your existing customer base. That will help you go along the way in maintaining a successful business. Now, another element is customer services. Just look at the most successful business out there, you know, in your sector and notice how they deliver their customer service and really understand how can they, um, you know, manage to deliver such a high level of customer services and then how they can generate more, you know, incurring uh, customers and the, 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 the referring uh, customer as well from the existing client. Right. And moving on to the element number two, I think that most of successful company do have is that have a well-defined vision. Are you with me on this? Am I right or am I right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I think that's that's a given. Most I think all company leaders need to have a strong vision. How they want to be that what they want to do in the next few years, whom they want to become, right? You need to look at both short and long-term vision, let's say from three to five years, what do you want to do in the next three to five years? And then break down those long vision into smaller goals or shorter goals, like more shorter uh, goals and more urgent, that more in line with the longer vision. That vision is the skill or gift that every company owner needs to have in order to cross the finish line. And that will um, serve as a compass for you to navigate through the difficult time. And also that will be a major force behind a business success. Yeah. So moving on to the successful factor number three, which is, I think, very critical, is the ability to adapt uh, to changes and stay nimble. As I remember quite vividly, uh, Charles Darwin, you probably know a very famous biologist, he once said, it's not the strongest of the species that, uh, nor the most intelligent that survive. It's the one that's most adaptable to change. And look at the last 12 months 
you know, what's happening in this world. So many things have been changing, right? And you see that lots of businesses have been failing because they inability to adapt to changes. Because there's a lot of changes in the market, right? It changes the customer behavior, changes the new technology, and uh, consumer behavior is a need as well. And even change within your internal team as well. And how you can stay flexible and nimble throughout the changes, right? And now you need to go back to your vision, the, 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 the second element that I just talked about. So you need to go back to vision and look at what you can control and you, what you can't control and work within that framework. And then you need to communicate your vision with your team. And your team is actually the core element of any business success. As one of the team members I just mentioned, team leadership is very important. And then you need to communicate your vision. And then once they know their uh, roles very well, they will help you, you know, achieve your goal and navigate through the changes. Okay. So now once you have a strong vision and a strong team behind you, you have much more confidence in knowing what your future will be looking like for you. And then you have more confidence in investing in yourself and your business despite all the changes happening in this crazy world. All right. Now move on to the success factor number four. I think is more successful business. They know is they know how to set up the right process and system. I work with lots of businesses, and I I see that you know the business owner tend to be burnt out because they 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 uh, they bog, get bogged down with little details or paperwork, and they feel exhausted at the end of the day. And and one thing I notice that they they just manager. They 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 not. The CEO, what I call is the CEO model. You need to act and think as a CEO, not a fun line people, not a manager, right? You need to really good at building a team, um, building a team and training people and set up the right process and system for them to follow. And then you can put yourself in the position of the CEO, all right? Remember, you're not the manager. You're not the front-end people. And the CEO don't do that as well, okay? And once you be able to convert yourself, whatever you're doing right now, to a CEO role, you'll be able to scale yourself and your life's going to get so much better. So those are the four key elements of any business success. What do you think about what I've been discussing so far? and what else you want to bring to the table today. And I thank you so much for listening to me and uh, I appreciate your feedback. Bye for now. <laughs>